Hello everybody, it's Garth Myth Leather Company and today I'm going to show you how to make some piping out of four ounce leather with no rigid spine, no cording, just by using my bell skiver and a little bit of adhesive. All right, we've got a piece of four ounce, very soft chrome tan leather here. And we're going to create our own spine in this piece of leather, which we're going to create uh, a piece of basically piping with. Um, now I have the skiver set up currently to where we can we can skive as long of long of a piece we want with no repercussions. Um, this video at this point will be getting fairly loud, so if you want to turn your volume down, it might be a good idea. I am going to be turning a vacuum on. And essentially the way we're accomplishing this is uh, we're going to skive both sides of this leather all the way down and just going to leave a center section in here. And the way I achieved that was by canting my my presser foot forward slightly and that's going to leave uh, a very nice ridge right in the center and I, I have my little gauge my stop here on the other side of the presser foot set to about five eighths of an inch and that'll leave me a, a pretty nice sky and uh, so let's do that now if you want to turn your volume down now would be a good time to do so <laughs> The next thing we're going to do is just apply some adhesive, some contact cement, to the back side of this leather. And then just simply put it together. And then I take a tool such as this, this is called a bone folder, we use this in our wallet production, and then I'm going to basically just kind of walk this in here from the outside, and bond this leather down real good, right up, right up until we hit that fabricated spine that we made with the skiver, which essentially is just an excess leather. In the that didn't get skived off in the center of this piece of piping. You can make these as long as you want, as long as you have your bell skiver set up correctly and you're not worried about the rim or the flesh that comes off when you skive. I happen to have a vacuum set up that just uptakes all the, the garbage and won't wrap it around my knife no repercussions and that's going to leave you a really nice piece of piping with no rigid uh, core so you can snip these corners whatever you'd like to do if you wanted to go around the corners or something you can just take some notches out of here or just little snips whatever you wanted to do and now you can flex that around a, a corner or whatever you want. You could put your piping foot on here or your um, zipper foot and run a piece of stitching on here if you wanted to further secure it. But honestly, uh, this is this glued down, it's not going anywhere. And now you can just include this in your seam allowance on your project and um, you wouldn't see that initial stitch to begin with, which is kind of beneficial. So I hope that helps you. 
It's just my little tip for the day. Um, man, if you really wanted a rigid spine, you could do that too. We have, this is 532nd cording that we use. This is a standard upholstery type cording, um, which will give you a fairly nice look as well. And in that case, all you would want to do is uh, sky beard leather all the way down and just remove that center spine and then you can wrap this around. And then you have more of a rigid spine, but honestly I think this is a better option because I can exclude the, the, rib, the ridge if I needed to go into some other seams here to sky this off and now it's flat. But uh, the net result, this is a net result of that same setup. This just happens to be the black as the piping, obviously. But uh, looks really nice. Nice clean look and uh, looks beautifully. Anyway, hope that helps. If you like uh, the content that we're putting out, please like and subscribe to our channel. Maybe share this with other crafters. And uh, if you'd like to see any other kind of videos, just post a comment and I'll see if I can make them for you. Thank you.